How's it going, everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2013 Blue Line speeder bike with Biker Scout. So this was actually gifted to me by Nate from out of the basement. I'm pretty sure everyone knows who that is. So thank you so much, Nate. I promise I will take excellent care of this. And I have a video of me unboxing this thing and me being quite surprised. I will link that video below, but be sure and watch this video first. So the speeder bike and biker scout, as you see, comes in this big old blue line box, large window, Star Wars, the black series, speeder bike and biker scout. The front window wraps around the top there. That's kind of cool. There's nothing on this side except an old price tag. There's nothing on that side and the bottom. You have the barcode, some small print and some very rough instructions on how to use the little stand. And the back of the box looks like this. You have this grayed out picture of a Biker Scout on a speeder bike. That's pretty cool. Then you have lots of small print down there. A bio up here, and it's kind of funny. Down here, it says visit starwars.hasbro.com. And then it says in the mouse print, ask a parent before going online. I could totally see myself going, hey mom, hey, can I go to starwars.hasbro.com? I can? Awesome. Thank you. And I'll just read this little bit up here. It just says, Chased by rebels, biker scouts race their speeder bikes through the indoor forest. The biker scouts weave at breakneck speed through the trees, trying to outrun the rebels so they can warn the shield generator station of the enemy's presence. And then it says right there, call for help, go! All right, I'm going to get the speeder bike with biker scout out of the box, and let's take a look at them. Okay, so here is the speeder bike and biker scout out of the box, and this is a super cool set. So happy to finally have it in the collection. Now, I do have the white one, the one from The Mandalorian. It's basically the same thing, but I've always wanted the iconic brown one from Jedi. So thanks again, Nate. But let's take a closer look at these, and I think I'll just start with the Trooper. And here's the Scout Trooper up close, and it looks just like it's supposed to. I mean, it's, it's a Scout Trooper. It's one of my favorite Trooper designs. I love this helmet. These lines may be a little off-center, but it's okay. He's going to be on the bike. You're not going to be able to notice. I do love the little bit of red back there. The armor looks good. I love the funk in here. Of course, he comes with a little EC-17 holdout blaster and a holster for that. Um, he may, yeah, there's like a light wash in there. Great looking trooper. Of course, he does have some weathering down here, but it's so funny how it just kind of stops on both legs. It just stops, you know, but it's cool. It's fine. It's fine. Now, he was very bow-legged right out of the box, and I did hit him with a hairdryer. I think it's a little better. I mean, I don't know how long he's been in that box, but uh, yeah, it's better. It's better, but of course, he's going to go right back on the bike, so no huge deal. But I did try to straighten him out just a little bit, you know, just for funsies. Uh, but overall, it is a great-looking trooper design, and I like it. And here's a better view of the bike, and I am just loving this. The brown looks so good. you got lots of scratches throughout. got some silver on the nose. There's some slight silver dry brushing throughout, like in here on these little things going around the pedals. They're on this, I'm, I'm assuming this is like some kind of intake. These hoses look good, some more scratches. The handles and all the controls just look awesome. Got a seat there. This little pack has a nice wash on it. I'm loving that. And of course these back here can articulate. Okay, they can move up and down. And on this side, you've got some more silver there. All these hoses look fantastic. I'm just loving that. Got some more scratches on this side. And you've got some silver dry brushing on all this down here. And of course, there's a little blaster turret underneath that can articulate. I'm loving this. Awesome looking bike. And as far as the stand, all right, the way they have this design, it's like a low, medium, and high as far as where you have this bike, you know, off the ground. The one from the Mandalorian sits a little bit lower. So I chose the medium setting for this one. And I think it's going to look good. And of course, there's some little pegs there to plug the Scout Trooper's feet into. Okay, he's got two holes on each foot uh, to plug him in. And um, the EC-17 can, of course, go in the holster. It's probably going to fall out because this thing just barely sits in there. So I'm going to stick this fella on his bike, and let's see what that looks like. And here we are, and yeah, he looks great. <laughs> he looks so good on this bike, and I decided to have him firing the little holdout blaster while on the bike. I thought that'd be kind of a cool pose. And something I did skip on the Trooper was articulation. I mean, I've reviewed this figure so many times. It's the same figure that came with the bike from the Mandalorian line. It's the same figure from the 40th of Jedi. It's the same figure from the Jedi, Fallen Order, and Survivor games. But some highlights of this figure are the elbows. I mean, even though it's older, 
He's got tremendous range in the elbows. He's got boot swivel. He's got good range in his head. So being an older figure, I think it's actually pretty poseable. But uh, this looks so good. I'm just loving it. And of course, I had to adjust my camera height to get all this in frame. But man, what an awesome piece. What an awesome piece. Thank you again, Nate. So I don't have a spot on the Jedi shelf for this. So I'm going to have it on the desk that's next to the shelf. You know, just right next to the one from The Mandalorian. So let me go stick it there and let's see how it looks. And here we are. And yeah, it looks good. <laughs> I'm so happy with how that looks there. So there's the one from The Mandalorian. It looks nice. But this one... Man, I am so, so glad to finally have the brown one from Jedi. And speaking of Jedi, okay, so the Jedi shelf is pretty full. Okay, there is no room for that bike on this shelf. I mean, because of Jabba, he takes up so much room. But it's okay. It's okay. I think he looks great just here on the desk. It's a super cool piece. Very happy to have it. So bottom line, I'm happy. I mean, <laughs> this is such a... It's just a neat set. And Nate, thank you again. I appreciate you. Such a nice gift. I mean, the bike itself, the scratches, the weathering, the wash on the pack, all the silver dry brushing throughout, all down here just looks so good. And of course, the trooper, you know, it's a scout trooper. You cannot go wrong, but it's just a fantastic set. I cannot thank you enough. But just like always, I would love to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of this 2013 Blue Line speeder bike and biker scout. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, smack like and subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it. And something else I urge you to consider, and that is joining the channel. It's only 99 cents a month. You can become a member of the 112th Battalion. You'll have access to sneak peeks and some custom emojis and all kinds of other goodies. I would definitely appreciate that. But just like always, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time.